Hello everyone and welcome back. A clean and organized home is every homemaker's dream. And when I think of it as why, I find multiple reasons as to why a clean and tidy home is so important. I feel as heading the home front, we homemakers take it as a biggest responsibility to give our family and loved ones a clean, cozy and inviting place to come back to. Least to say, clean home brings such good vibes, makes us feel proud and productive and also motivates us in a big way. So I thought of sharing a few cleaning and organizing tips that can help you be on top of your homemaking game. The biggest hurdle to cleaning and organizing a space is the motivation to begin with. And to get that motivation, I try to find some simple trigger points. I start by starting small. Something as basic as placing cushions at the right place or just rearranging my living room back to normal. Cleaning and organizing is not a sprint but a marathon. So going slow but steady helps in keeping the momentum going. When this small rearranging looks good, it gives me a good motivation to repeat the same at different places in the house. Once I get my trigger point, 90% time I continue with the same momentum of baby steps and keep moving from one room to another. Of course, each day the trigger point cannot be the same, so be it. Rather, I deliberately keep changing them to not feel bored or make this task monotonous. Some days I start with living room, some days I make my bed, or some day I arrange utensils in the kitchen first. The idea is to make this everyday boring job exciting by bringing some frequent changes and finding those trigger points. And there you'll have a clean and tidy space without you even realizing it. The most untidy space are always the tabletops. We generally have the tendency to just put things down at our hand level so the tabletops suffer the most. No matter how clean the space is, random things lying on the table makes the site very messy and untidy. I literally take 3 to 4 minutes on every table to keep things back at its place and tidy up the place in a fastest way. Dusting or scrubbing is optional but doing it alongside helps killing two birds with a single stone. We have tabletops in almost every room but my computer table, kids chest of drawers and dining table are the most demanding. And these are literally the places that comes in my frequent site. So I aim to just rearrange these spaces first thing in the morning to give my home a sudden lift and clean feel right in the beginning of the day. Like I said, cleaning surfaces brings that instant look of a tidy place. And needless to say, this is directly linked to removing the visual clutter from our site. That's when organizing and rearranging spaces comes into the picture. I constantly try to make the space look visually appealing by either removing any unwanted item or maybe adding an item which can make the space look very attractive. Decorating a space is always very exciting and don't really need any extra push to initiate because the excitement of seeing the instant attractive result is motivating in itself. So instead of spreading things out all over the place, I try to remove the extra mess or items, confine things together in a basket or a tray and give some decorative touches for a neater and cleaner look. We often just focus on treating our eyes by cleaning surfaces. But for me, treating all my senses brings more joy to my cleaning process. Doing just a few simple things can actually refresh our home and surroundings to make them look much cleaner and inviting. It can be as simple as adding a bunch of fresh flour to the corners we see the most. But if you do not wish to bring the fresh flowers, no worries. You can make a simple foliage bouquet with some leaves and place it in different section of the house. A nice fragrance evokes our senses and mind as much as a cleaner site. 
and diffusing camphor is the most effective way to do so. So very recently I got myself this pack of Mangalam camphor to add a sweet fragrance and help purify the home to bring more positivity and peace. The Mangalam camphor comes in two different variants to choose from. One is the Mangalam Bhimseni camphor and the other one is the Mangalam camphor crystals and both of them have very different aromas. Ingredient in Mangalam camphor are so potent that it gives a very refreshing fragrance and creates a positive and inviting surrounding. With this Kapoor Dani, diffusing camphor becomes absolutely hassle free. Just place the Mangalam Bhimseni camphor on the Kapoor Dani and turn it on. And in no time, the aroma spreads to each and every corner of the room. Diffusing camphor has many benefits. It helps repel mosquitoes, relieves any kind of nasal congestion and serves as the perfect combo for meditation and aromatherapy. When completely diffused, Mangalam camphor evaporates and does not leave any residue or ash behind on the Kapoor Dani to avoid any extra cleaning. Check the description and use coupon code SWATHI15 to avail flat 15% off on your total order on the purchases from the House of Mangalam website. The other way to refresh home is by bringing small changes to the house. It can be as simple as shuffling up the existing things in your house, like plants or some decorative items. I have a lot of plants which I keep shuffling to give the old space a sudden new look. Similarly, you all will agree that changing furnishing lifts up the room in a fraction of a second. Why wait till Diwali to have a new fresh home? <laughs> I feel life is too small to wait for good days. I have different cushion covers that I keep rotating to change the overall look of my house every now and then. Unless there are literally just two clothes, I make sure I do a load of laundry every single day. We all have something or the other lying in a queue for washing. Bed sheets, linens, garments, furnishings, well the list is long. My kids are small and things get dirty very frequently. So instead of piling up untidy garments that actually comes back to me only for folding, I do laundry every day. This keeps my laundry area clean, my almiras organized and reduces my labor of bulk folding. I have observed that whenever I take a break of two days, the pile of folding increases and this is something I am not really fond of. With the pile, I lose my motivation to fold nicely and I end up making a clutter in the almira. So I find my mojo in one laundry a day to keep everything clean and organized. As I said, cleaning and organizing is a marathon. We will always have one or the other space keep calling us for cleaning and organizing because let's accept it, it's never ending. But ignoring them will only make things worse. So I pick at least one thing in a day that I can deep clean, declutter or organize before I feel it's too late. Ruthvi's few hair clips were missing. So I thought of setting her hair accessories in right order to avoid those last minute meltdowns while going out. I have this organizer which keeps all her hair clips intact but since I am not the only one opening it, so things go missing. So while I was rearranging kids clothes, I decided to quickly bring things in order. Giving 15 to 20 minutes every day just for organizing even the smallest thing saves it from becoming a massive task that we actually fear. Ignorance is a bliss but not in homemaking. A clean kitchen has lots of hidden efforts. Kitchen is a primary place for food and getting into the habit of inspecting fridge and pantry is the first step for a clean and organized kitchen. It literally takes 5 minutes to find what is that extra thing in the fridge that you wish to consume today. If you are not doing meal planning, in that case daily inspection becomes all the more important. I have a lot of green chilies left, so I thought of making a thecha with it. Kids do not eat spicy food, so I meet my spice needs this way. 
same is with the grapes so i'll clean them up as kids will consume it in the evening after the park time this last batch of coriander is also left in the fridge so with this i'll quickly make a chutney to free up the fridge space for coriander chutney i just add mint leaves coriander leaves cumin seeds green chili salt tomato and lemon juice and grind it into a paste i also have these leftover veggies that i'll use in pulao for dinner similarly i do a quick inspection in the pantry to see what can be consumed first i had small quantity of different pulses left and i'll make mixed dal to go with the pulao i have a habit of cleaning things on the go and that really saves me a lot of time at the end as the containers get empty i wash and dry them instantly and store them at their respective places likewise as the fridge is empty i'll quickly wipe the shelves for the instant clean up as i do deep cleaning only when the season changes same goes into the pantry space even wiping a single shelf every day reduces the load of bulk cleaning having the right cleaning tools are the biggest motivator for cleaning spaces imagine struggling to clean things for hours i mean who would even wish to enter into such a pitiful state so i try different tools and means to suit my needs right I make the homemade cleaner which not only comes cheap but is super effective in cleaning my house. Similarly in brushes I found this carpet brush absolutely game changer. The bristles are not too hard but strong enough to do the job right. A toothbrush is a best cleaning tool to reach out to those nooks and corners and an an angular brush for a good grip and effective cleaning result microfiber cloths are really good for dry cleaning and dusting as they lifts up the dust instead of spreading it away just make sure that your dusters are of right size and not too small squeezy or wipers are the best for wiping wet surfaces even the sponges are quite effective however i don't find them long lasting So I really like this wiping duster the best in the market so far. The size is big enough. It is soft to work with and absorbs the moisture so well and doesn't break even if you squeeze or wring it with full force. I have two of them for different purposes and they really last long. Well there are times when we deliberately choose to ignore a few places that need some extra attention. While once in a while it's fine, but making it a habit takes away that desire of having a clean home. I was ignoring microwave cleaning since 15 days, but how far can I stretch it? So I thought of doing it today. Boiling the vinegar lemon solution helps loosen up the grime inside the microwave and while that is happening I'll clean the outer surface to pace up my work. As I said, it's the initial push that makes the whole difference. Once we get into the momentum, the flow of cleaning continues and without even realizing, the space looks spick and span. Giving that extra push by just attempting to clean brings us in the flow of cleaning. Once started, It usually happens that we end up cleaning the entire space in a rather better way. Like today, from not cleaning the microwave since 15 days to end up deep cleaning it today was only possible with the little push of at least starting to clean. It's good to know a few cleaning hacks to enjoy the process and make the job easier. Like this iron kadai was rusted badly and lost the shine. So I thought of using the salt and lemon method that works like magic in cleaning such kadai. I'll simply warm the kadai on stove and add salt to it. Now I'll scrub the kadai with lemon and in 5 minutes the kadai will start shining like new. No hard scrubbing or effort needed 
and so knowing such quick fixes in cleaning helps motivate to even begin do you also know any such cleaning hack that works like magic let us all know in the comment section now i'll just wipe it with a dry cloth and warm it on stuff to let the moisture evaporate leave it with a thin coating of oil to avoid future rusting you can use the same process to clean and keep the cast iron cookware as well it's important to have some kind of cleaning routine routine helps in clearly defining the task and work literally happens in an automatic mode following the same routine helps forming the habit and the effort goes by feels less burdened i know i have to wipe the kitchen clean before sleeping to avoid pests to make their home so cleaning stuff is a part of my every night routine the routines not necessarily be too complex rather start with simple routine and gradually add task and build it up i earlier used to simply wipe the stuff clean but now i take extra 2 minutes to scrub before wiping it i also lightly spot scrub the splash wall next to the stuff this 2 minute of cleaning saves me from intense kitchen cleaning every now and then i change the kitchen towel for the next day and pre soak the old ones to clean the very next day and lastly i spray the equal portion vinegar and water mix on the slab and leave it overnight this is a very good ant repellent and has no harmful chemicals at all setting a timer helps massively in sprint cleaning i give myself 5 minute of time before bedtime or even stepping out of the house for a quick clean up this of course just includes picking things and dumping them at the right places bins are the best source for these quick cleanups though kids help cleaning up before bedtime but whatever is left i keep them aside and wake up to a relatively neater space the next day and feel less burdened or overwhelmed with the work 5 minutes of course just help with organizing one room so i choose the room which needs the most effort and feel happy with this little success I hope this video was helpful and was motivating enough to prepare you for some great cleaning and organizing. If yes, don't forget to show your love by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Do share which cleaning tip you like the most and join me on Instagram for some daily life updates. And I'll see you in my next video. Until then, stay tuned and stay connected.